Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another video, an update video on the FNAF AR situation. I don't know why I'm clapping, I'm just pretty excited about this video. Basically, the premise for this video is to look at all of the information that we covered last episode in a sense that this is official and that this is actually the trailer for, um, for the augmented reality game, because last episode um, I was re-watching it a little bit, and I was like, man, I really, really was leaning towards the side that it was fake. But now that it's been basically almost 24 hours since the video's been up, and Scott and... Okay, my computer lagged. I don't know what happened or where it cut me off. But basically, as I was saying, uh, the video's been up for almost 24 hours, I think, now. And Scott nor Looking Glass have said anything about it. And there actually have been some people that have emailed Scott and The Looking Glass um, asking for, you know, asking them if this trailer was real or not. And apparently, Scott saw one email, but didn't reply. And based off of that and the fact that it's been almost a whole day and he, and he hasn't said anything, um, you know, dismissing the fact that this was fake, I'm pretty certain that it's it's pretty safe to say that this is real now. And we have more evidence to look at um, for this video, but let's just look into the evidence this intro has gone on far too long, so let's look at this in a new light. So first off, I want to point out that since this is most likely official, seeing as it's been up for a while, Scott have, has seen stuff about it and he said that it wasn't fake, I'm pretty sure that this is classified as real now. Um, that's still up for debate, however, but just for now, I highly recommend bookmarking the FNAF AR website as well as subscribing to the channel. I know, if it is fake, this is a way to get attention, but um, I just for the meantime, and also um, follow the account on Reddit, that's what I'm doing just so I can keep up with information. But first things first, we're going to go through and watch this video one last time and take in more details. I should have turned off my face cam. God dang it, I forgot to do that. Anyways, we went through this in the last video, but now we're going to look back um, back on it with more detail. So, obviously we can see Foxy's hook, Bonnie's bow tie, Freddy's microphone, Chica's cupcake right here, some endoskeleton parts behind my camera you cannot see unfortunately, and also some more, um, uh, blah, 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 what's it called? Some logos for the, for the pizzeria. There's a phone on a desk right here. Uh, we get a text from someone called Unknown on Monday, September 2nd at 11.11. 11. Some people have been trying to figure out what the background image for the phone is, and honestly, I cannot tell. Loads of people have had a shot at it, and it's just really, really hard to see what it is. So, obviously, we get a text saying, it's me, and we hear Freddy approaching in the background. Here's little steps. And then, wait for it, we get a shadow outlining Freddy. Now, some people have been saying that this bow tie um, looks purple, and I agree, it does look a little bit purple, but I honestly think that's just because of the blue um, hue that's being emitted from somewhere, uh, and you can see it here, so I think that's what's giving the bow tie a purplish look. I still think it's red, so I do think this is Freddy, but people are speculating that this is a purple bow tie and that it's showing Fredbear. I get where they're coming from but I just think it's the blue hue that's giving it that look. Then things glitch out. Some people have claimed that there's been a few hidden images when the screen glitches out. I haven't found anything worth mentioning. And then of course we get the 10th, 2019. October 2019, which is the release date. Yeah, I haven't found any cool uh, images hidden within the static. Some people have claimed that they're awesome, so if you guys want to go take a look, you can go take a look, but I have not found anything. So, now that we've went over this in pretty good detail, let's hop over to Reddit and talk about some evidence that this is real. First of all, um, if you take a look at the name right here, and, oh shoot, actually I, I kind of want to find the post that talks about this. Yeah, 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 here it is. Okay, so, if you take a look at the username that posted the, um, the video on Reddit and you reverse it, you can see that it's actually called Looking Glass. Now, either this is super, super clever of Looking Glass, or again, this is just a prank, but based on the fact that if we go over here, we check out Scott's official um, uh, Reddit account, we can see that he has not posted anything. No comments, or no posts on the subject, 
no comments on the subject. So, um, and actually, if we go, this is kind of messy just because I really haven't planned this out in a good way. But some people have emailed Scott. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to find this. But some people have emailed Scott asking for, um, yeah, so someone emailed Scott asking um, for the fake trailer, whether or not it's real or not. Scott saw it, but he did not reply, and this is the post right here just for, you know, just for you guys can see. Um, and again, I'm sorry this is kind of all over the place. I don't really have a good way to order all this information. So yeah, sorry about that. But something that is super, super interesting is that if we go over to the FNAFAR.com website, again, I highly suggest bookmarking this. Here is the source code. Just quick little gloss over it. I didn't see anything that interesting, but then again, I kind of quickly skimmed through it. So if you guys do see something in here worth mentioning, uh, you know, shoot shoot it down in the comments below. Anyways, if we, normally you would right click it and then it would read, none of you will survive the night. I'm not sure that's the direct quote, but it was something along that lines. But now, right clicking it reveals it's real, it's happening. Now, there is a bit of a grammatical issue right there. You know, the I in the second it should not be capitalized because it's, it's not the start of a sentence, it's just separated by a comma, so there's a little bit of an oopsie there, but, you know, whatever. So, the fact that um, it says it's real and it's happening, and the fact that Scott has not replied, um, saying it's fake, Looking Glass has not replied, saying it's fake, I'm guessing this is real. Okay? I'm guessing it's real, I'm really hoping it's real, because, again, this looks incredible. Like, look at Fox's hook and the bow tie and the microphone, you guys can't really see the cupcake or the endoskeleton parts back there, but they look phenomenal. And something that a few people have pointed out, um, whether or not this is real or not, is the fact that this looks too good to be fake. And it sounds weird, you know, too good to be true, too good to be fake, but honestly, who would go through all of this, all of the time and all the effort to put something like this together with the, um, the Reddit page, there's a Twitter account, there's this account, there's the actual video, there's the website, the secret messages in the website, just to come out and say that it's been fake this whole time. I don't think someone would want to do that because, yeah, they, you know, 5.2 thousand, um, uh, what's it called, subscribers, and, you know, also FNAF AR, this is the first thing that comes up. I think it's a little bit overboard for a troll, and, but yeah, really the most damning piece of evidence is that Scott, no one looking glass has said anything, and the fact that the uh, website says it's real and that it's happening, I think this is basically, basically confirmed to be real. Scott has seen messages asking whether or not the account is fake or not, so, and he hasn't replied to them, so he's seen it, he knows about it, but he didn't come out and say that's fake. So I'm guessing, guys, I'm guessing this is real. You know, last episode I was leaning more towards the fake side, but now I'm starting to feel like this is the actual official trailer for FNAF Augmented Reality. Again, sorry all the evidence for this was all over the place. I didn't really have a good order to put them in, but hopefully I got the point across. Um, long story short, if you guys just skip to the end just to get out the information, Long story short, Scott has seen all this, he's seen all the attention that the video has been getting, and he hasn't come out saying that it's fake. So, really, I think that's the most damning piece of evidence um, out of everything that we've covered. Hopefully we're going to be getting more information soon, because October is next month, so I'm really hoping we get a proper release date soon, with a actual day for the release and not just a month, so hopefully we'll get, be getting that soon. And honestly, I'm just super, super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. If you are, don't forget to punch, punch that like button in the face. Kick, kick the like button. High five it. What am I doing? Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.